Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last wedding planning update before my big day. Um, so I am sharing everything that has happened in months 16 to 22 of wedding planning, um, which is like the last couple months. Um, so this is going to be the last one. Uh, but we still have over a month to go. I just don't even want to like have to think about sitting down and recording another video before um, the big day because I know the next month is going to be crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna start out by saying that um, my brain is all over the place now. Um, I feel like I don't know what day it is. <laughs> so this is probably gonna be pretty like all over the place scatterbrained um, in terms of what I'm saying that like we've done. Um, but it's just like I'm just writing it down as it comes to me um, and hopefully I didn't miss anything. So first off, um, I forgot to mention this in my last video, um, I will link the other wedding planning videos below um, and all of this information will be in a coordinating blog post and you can easily get to those posts as well. Um, so I forgot to mention this in my last one, but at the one year mark, like that week, I was freaking out. Like I realized that one year is a really long time, like it's very far away, but just the idea of like me being in my head being like, okay, this time next year, like it's go time. Like this time next year, I'll be getting into my dress and this time next year, like we'll be doing pictures and like, I was a mess I don't even know and it's been so long now that I don't know what I was thinking um, and I feel like the stress is just getting worse and worse as it comes I'm not complaining I'm just trying to be honest with my experience um, and I realize that I am very lucky to have the wedding that I'm having and to have the amount of time that we have to plan everything but I'm just being real with you guys it's like a whole different level like I just when I've like check my app to see how many days like there it it's just like in my chest like I just kind of go huh? um but it's not and it's not that I'm not excited I am excited and I'm excited to see everyone and to see it all come together but it's just it's just something that I've never experienced before it's just really stressful so if your friend's a bride, maybe just like text her and be like, hey, how's it going? Like, you okay? Um, but yeah, like make sure you have a good support system. Um, and yeah, that's about all I can think to say about that. Um, I have been having wedding nightmares. I tried, I was trying to write them down because they're ridiculous, but I can't really remember what they've been about. Some of them are really stupid or like silly. Um, but basically if I have one, I like will try and figure, like make sure that doesn't happen kind of thing. Um, and it will happen. And then like the people that are close to you will have nightmares too. It's funny. Um, I have had, at, by the time this video goes up, I will have had two dress fittings. Um, but I am going to one next week, so. Um, hasn't happened in real life yet, just, um, but it will have happened by the time this video goes up. Um, so my first dress fitting went really well. Um, I am having some, like, special things done, which I will share after the fact. Um, but I was excited to, like, try on my dress again. Um, and it fits, and not a lot of alterations have to be done, uh, but it's exciting. Um, I had my makeup trial. At the beginning of June, um, I booked it like the morning that I had a bridal shower. I had my bridal showers. Um, I actually had three. I think I talked about this in the last video, uh, but I had one at Ethan's parents' house because there's a bunch of family there because we're like two and a half hours away. And then my cousin hosted one um, for like family and then friends and then um, my hairdresser actually and then my like godparent one of my godparents hosted another one that was more for like my mom's friends and just some other family friends um because if it was all one there would be like 60 something people and that's just a lot <laughs> i realized that a wedding is going to be even worse than that but i just wanted to split it up and then i actually got to like see everybody and talk to everybody and stuff like that um 
but I had my makeup trial and I loved it. Um, I still felt like me, um, but just like a glam version of me. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Um, I have gotten all of my accessories figured out um, and I'm actually having two pairs of shoes. So I'm having a pair of heels and then a pair of like sneakers, um, which I'll show again after the fact. Um, and just as a reminder, I'm not sharing like any specific dates or names of vendors until after the fact for privacy. Um, but I've got all my accessories figured out and I'm really happy I got all that. Ethan's suit is finished. Um, we picked it up, got alterations done on it. It's all ready to go. We met with our photographer again and we love her. Um, just kind of like she wanted to know like everything that we'd been planning and like see pictures and stuff. Um, and she is just really awesome and we're really excited to work with her. Um, and I think that we'll work with her for a very long time. Um, and we've given her like the sheet of the shot list kind of gone through like all the family combinations just like even if it's redundant um, just all the ones we can think of so that we make sure that we get everything and then she'll get like the other ones like of the dress hanging up and like stuff like that but this for um, we'll do family pictures right after the ceremony so they can be like we need this person this person this person this person come here take a picture okay now you can go um, and stuff like that just to be as efficient as possible. Our invitations have gone out and we are just following up with the last few RSVPs. Um, we got our invitations from Vistaprint. Um, I really like, I really like them. I'm really happy with them. Um, we did like the customize, so we paid like $5 to get um, uh, one of our wedding colors in the invitation. Um, which again I'll show after <laughs> um, but I love them and I think a lot of people were really, really happy with them um, we've gotten a lot of decor um, if you're like hunting for decor like look everywhere we got stuff at Costco Value Village flea markets Ikea um, make sure to join some like wedding like swaps sell bidding war type thing um, that you can find a lot of great stuff um, and then yeah, and we've just used like spray paint and um, Ethan's been building some stuff for decor. Um, we've used some like skids or palettes, um, but I'm very excited to see it all come together. We just have to figure out like what decor needs to go where. Um, and in my head, I'd like to be organized enough to have like sticky notes on the back of like, say it's like mirrors or frames to say where it goes, um, just so we can make sure everything gets in the right place. Cause you don't want the menu, like some in the wrong place, but yes. Uh, we, I started flowers for the cake. If you've been watching weekend vlogs, I've been spending a lot of time on them. I am doing the wedding cake myself. I'm doing it out of styrofoam. And then we're just kind of going back and forth on if we want a small cake for us to cut. Um, and maybe like some cupcakes for the kids because our caterer does have like we're having an ice cream sundae bar which I'm really excited about <laughs> for dessert um, but just like a, so to have pictures like that and we got a really nice um, like cake like a serving set um, as a gift from an engagement party so we're just going back and forth on that and I'm trying not to stress myself out because I'll be doing it. Uh, we're almost finished with the ceremony. We just have to write our own vows, which we are doing. I've started. Ethan has not. <laughs> I'm like, you need to get on that. Um, and we got these really cute little like vow books from Amazon. Amazon too for decorations. Um, we, I really am starting to see it come together and I can picture it more and more, which is really cool. Um, all the bridesmaids gifts have been purchased, so that's all easy to go, ready to go. And I just need to like put everything together. Um, closer to the wedding to actually give it to them. Um, so we are getting married at like a conservation area um, and there are accommodations there for people to stay. Um, there's two like suites so my family is going to be in one and Ethan's family is going to be in the other and Ethan and I are renting a trailer um, to stay on site just so we have our own space. Um, but yeah just to make it fair so that'll be exciting. Um, we have been using the knot. Uh, we use that for like our wedding website and for the RSVPs and everything. 
Um, the one thing that I did notice is sometimes it duplicated entries when people RSVP'd if it wasn't, if they didn't enter it the exact same way that I did something happened and it duplicated it but like when you're addressing invitations like I knew my guest list really well so I could see and I noticed it and you just delete the other ones um, but that's just something to keep an eye out for and I will do a post uh, after the fact of like the wedding planning tools that I couldn't live without um, this one is a little awkward to talk about um, just leave a table open for people who um, invite add someone um, even if you don't think it's gonna happen to you it probably will so just um, yeah do that uh, I we are working on the favors and we will do a blog post all about those after I'm like so happy and they've come out exactly how I thought it, they would uh, we're very like into the wedding planning like I think that it's gonna be a good like reflection of us like it's it just will be a day that I think will look like us if that makes sense um piece of advice is find something that's productive that is also relaxing so for me making the wedding flowers has been very productive because I'm working towards decorating the cake um but it's also relaxing and like calming because wedding planning is very stressful. I just found that that has helped me a lot because I know that like, instead of just like sitting on the couch relaxing, like I'm doing something that's getting us closer to the goal and it's also calming and relaxing for me and I get to watch TV while I do it. I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale and 30 Rock while I've been making flowers. Um, by the time this goes up, I will have just had my hair trial, um, but I'm excited for that and I will about to go on my like be about to go on my bachelorette weekend which I'm excited for and I don't know what is happening um, Ethan and I got a perfume and a cologne um, for the wedding day so that when we use it after it will remind us of it we got it during the Sephora sale in April so if um, that's something that you want to do try and time it around a Sephora sale in April or November just so you can save a little bit of money um, I need to start a playlist for uh, like when we're getting ready um, I'm just gonna put a lot of music that like makes me really happy and calm so there's probably gonna be like some Disney music on there probably some 90s probably some Jonas Brothers but it's like whatever I want so um, cause we have Spotify, um, premium, so, or we have like the family one, so Ethan has an account and I have an account, so we can both be listening to it. Um, like I said, we started the photo list and sent that for the photographer. We are doing a first look and, um, like wedding party pictures before the ceremony and then the family pictures after the ceremony, which just in my head, like, makes a better use of the time during the day but I understand that that's not what everyone wants to do um, and then we did the music list of like a fir first dance um, mother daughter father son no mother son father daughter dances um, and sent that off to the DJ in September I will be drinking immunity teas and <laughs> taking everything possible to make sure that I don't get sick um, knock on wood, I'm lucky enough I don't get sick very often, but I'm terrified that that's going to happen. Um, we just started working with our month of coordinator, um, so we have to make lists of the seating chart with dietary restrictions, a vendor contact list, and then a list of the decor and just kind of what we picture for the day and then we're going to meet with her in a few weeks to kind of go over everything. Um, if you can't tell, I'm always making lists, um, and especially now, if I don't write it down when I think of something, it's gone. Like, I just have so much swirling around in my head that <laughs> I just need to write it down. Like, I start writing sticky notes at work, like, I have the app on my, like, the notes app on my phone I use all the time. Um, it's getting a little out of hand. Um, I feel like it's bringing Ethan and I closer, like, just because we're working towards this common goal, um, and we don't really know what we're gonna do when it's over, um, 
<laughs> because we're like every spare moment is like thinking of what we still have to do and like oh like don't forget this and oh we can't forget that and sort of thing that I feel like October will come and we'll be like what do you want to do I don't know um our honeymoon is booked. We still need to plan the second part. If you missed our like announcement video, I'll put that in the card. Um, but yes, and then I picked up the bridesmaids dresses this week and they have started their alterations. So they are all good to go. And I think that's it. Um, so let me know if there's something wedding related that you want to see. Um, after the wedding like if there's something specific about like I'll probably do like a big post about our day and like share all the vendors and everything um but I'm getting really excited <laughs> trying not to stress out too much um and then if you are a bride or have gotten married leave some advice for other people that are getting married in the comments below I always try to make these I try to like give tips that I've learned along the way um to make it a little bit help more helpful for future by brides um and people getting married and i just want to keep you guys up to date so if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more because there'll be lots of wedding stuff coming um and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye